Maria, yesterday you didn't want to comment on reports that 100 ADF troops were put on standby to help with Victoria's hotel quarantine program. The ADF has confirmed those reports were correct. They were, in well, fact, I don't put on know standby. That, I don't know that that's exactly what's been confirmed today. I direct the you ADF to... The ADF has confirmed it to me. Just Maria, on I've received a statement from the ADF today saying 100 troops were put on standby to help with Victoria's hotel quarantine well, program. I would just put it to you so that... you saying that's wrong. I'm sorry to keep going back and forth. It no, you don't have to apologise. That's fine. Earlier in the week, you did say that hundreds of ADF troops weren't available and that it wasn't right that we, that Victorians had this perception that they were available. The ADF are confirming today that they were available. A hundred of them were on standby. Standing by your statement, as it was earlier in the week, that the ADF was not available to help with hotel quarantine security. Just back on the issue you believe the army wasn't offered to help with hotel quarantine is what you said at the parliamentary committee hearing earlier this week mm. before Andrew Crisp released his statement. I know you keep referring to the statement. Yesterday, the health minister, Greg Hunt, said that they were offered. We know before that the defence minister, Linda Reynolds, said they were offered. What makes you so confident that they weren't? No, look, to be honest, I think I've dealt with these questions okay. a few days okay. now. So to you just to clarify, that, that statement says um, that statement from Andrew Chris refers to specific dates and says that um, says that ADF troops were, were neither offered nor sought on, on those dates. Are yes. you saying that they were neither offered nor sought for hotel quarantine at all full stop? Is that what you're saying? Can I move us from twenty fifteen yeah. to March twenty seven? You gave a press conference at, at 3 p.m. on yes. March 27, um, announcing the hotel quarantine scheme. Yep. At that press conference, you mentioned the involvement of private security guards. We heard in evidence earlier this week at um, the parliamentary committee hearing that uh, the, from the secretary of the Department of Jobs, Precincts and Regions uh, that that afternoon at 4.30 that afternoon there was a meeting chaired by Andrew Crisp at which no, um, no politicians but all their staff were present, um, which was the crucial meeting where it was decided to, uh, to use private security guards in hotel quarantine. Um, that timing doesn't make sense to me because you'd already talked about the use of them before that meeting took place. Can you explain what, what, how that works and what went on that? Are you able to say when the decision to use private security guards was made then? Uh, Are you able to say whether it was before you, you gave that press conference? Are you the operations for Terrier and the request that Andrew Crisp made on June 24 for yes. 850 troops, yes. which I know you've said you didn't make and I know was after there had been cases uh, at Ridges and Stamford Plaza. Yep. But when he made that request, Andrew Crisp stated in, in the document, emergency management Victoria has exhausted internal or contract sources across emergency agencies to fulfil these roles. And he was talking about roles in the hotels. Um, and ADF personnel in other states have proven to be uniquely suited to roles and functions being carried out within the current environment. Uh, that, that request was then rescinded 16 hours later. Uh, did you have any role in, in the decision to rescind the request? What changed given sure. that he clearly thought when he made that request yeah. that this was needed and it had worked in other states? Yep. 